Yeah, congrats to to Arkansas Little Rock. They um they outplayed us. We didn't we didn't play very well. Um, our our effort wasn't good enough. Defensively, gave up fourteen threes, which is a lot. They really shot it, but a lot of those we made mental mistakes. Um, so. It was um, it, it was frustrating. Obviously, in a tournament atmosphere, you want to you want to stay around for a while, and unfortunately, we didn't. Um, the two guys I have with me, Charles Manning and and Turbo Jones. Any questions in the room? Go ahead, Charles. I would like to just discuss because you never get comfortable with being <clears throat> Um, just kind of just picking up off what Coach said. Um, they just they just came out and was playing harder. It's kind of hard to. Um, just play from behind the whole game, especially when they got to run. Everybody was kind of like um, they were kind of like together, playing together. So it was hard. Well, our energy wasn't as good. Um, obviously, we we're missing our leading score. He, he played well in that game. His defense is how hard he played made a difference for our team. But I mean, we we've known that since last weekend. But that's obviously a big difference in the game from our place to to today. Um, we we just made a ton of mistakes early, and and allowed them to get in a rhythm and make shots. Um, just a lot of undisciplined stuff. We've been we've been doing a lot of that stuff, and it it hurt us today. It hurt us today. Like you go back and look at the film. Some of the things when we when we played them last time, we made some of these same mistakes and they didn't make us pay, but today they did. And again, I give them credit. You know, the um, Jefferson was eight and nine from three. I mean, incredible. I'm sure he hasn't done anything like that all year. It was incredible. It takes a lot of courage to do that in, in a tournament environment. But yeah, I think a mixture of us us just playing really poorly and them playing really well, and us missing a key piece to who we are, I think that, you know, I'm not saying made up for 30 points or whatever we beat them by, but they, they all mixed in to, to a different result down here in Pensacola. Right here in the back. Matt Goins, WKRG. Coach, uh, what, what's going to go on for the future? What, what, what's your plan for next year to kind of get back on track? Yeah, I don't know. We got to figure it out. Uh, we've, we just ended and we got to figure it out, you know. Obviously, we exited here. We, we won 19 games this year. Like, that's not where we want to be as a program. But when we got here, they hadn't won 20 games in the, over 10 years. I mean, it's sometimes we get a little bit confused of what some of this stuff is. Um, we've obviously got to be better. The goal is to win the conference tournament. We lost our starting backcourt before the season. Um, we lost a guy who I think is all league guy didn't play a minute for us that we recruited here. And he had a stress fracture in his back. We lost J.J. Chandler every 16 points a game. Um, we lost Turbo Jones for most of the season. Like He played nine games or something. So, yeah, we, we've got to be better. The, the goal is to win championships. The goal is to win regular season championships. The goal is to win tournament championships. Um, but we've got to be better. I, I do like the fact that we talk about getting back on track when I, when I got here, we've had two short seasons this past year, and, and we won 17 last year, and we only played 28 games. This year we won 19, and we only played 30. Before I got here is a long time before they did that. And I don't say it's because of me, but I do say that it's, you know, sometimes we look at things in a certain light that isn't always that light. Um, we're working hard. We've We've had some – some injuries. We've had COVID shut us down in a double bye. So as a program, we're, we're trying our best to be a champion. I think we've had opportunities to be in that position. This year was not one of them. We fought like hell to get to 19 wins. Like it was a dog fight every single game, every single time. So, you know, it's not that we don't want to go home after the first round. We don't want, nobody wants to go home until Monday and we've got to be better. We've got to make adjustments and we've got to, you know, stay healthy and we've got to do things to take another step. But, you know, to get back on track, I think is like a strong word. Like when you go 19 and 11, again, it's nothing to write home about, but it is a heck of a lot better than when we took this place home. Thank you.
Losing JJ made it tough because he's a ball handler and we were already lacking ball handling. We were lacking, you know, when, when we lost Greg Perham at the beginning of the season, um, we were lacking ball handling. Then we lost Turbo the first game of the season. So we were lacking ball handling. Um, so that was, that was one of the major losses of it. And then, you know, his ability to score 16 a game. I mean, it's, that's a lot of points. Um, but I think anytime you lose, you can always take some positives from it. Um, I thought Turbo played really well today. I thought he, you know, he had struggled a few games. He struggled, he missed two, two and a half months. So it's a long time he's been trying to get his feet back underneath him. He's been trying to get comfortable. And I thought, I thought today that he did that in a, in a tournament atmosphere. I thought he stepped up and played really well. Got a media question through Zoom uh, for Coach. You switched to the box and won, but why did you struggle so much to sh to slow down Jefferson? Yeah, we we boxed him there for a minute, and you know, we just you know, we we couldn't really understand the the principles of the other spots. Obviously, it's easy to chase him and and not and no catch him, but we we didn't. We were kind of out of sorts in the other spots, and we we haven't played it very much. Last year we played a lot of that a lot of that stuff, and we were really good at it. But this year we haven't played it that much, so it's not really on our guys. We just had to try something to slow him down um, from a man to man standpoint. I mean, I think I think the common fan the easiest thing to say is, "Hey, why don't you just go man to man?" Like this isn't like YMCA pickup. I wish that we, if I had a team that could really guard man to man, we would we would do that. That's it's kind of common sense. We're not going to sit there in a zone, let a dude hit eight threes and not go man to man because I, you know, just didn't realize we couldn't play man to man. We, we don't guard the ball very well. We don't take away the post very well. They're big inside. Our ball screen defense is not very good. So the zone for the last two weeks has been able to keep us in games. It's held people to good percentages. And then we get down here and it doesn't. We, but that's where we are. We'd, we'd made our bed by now. Like, we, it's a, that, that was our best chance to win. And, you know, a kid goes eight for nine from three. I mean, it's, and, and, and again, we aided him going eight for nine from three because we were undisciplined and we jumped on every shot fake and we lost him in some bumps and, he got it going, and I tip my hat to him. I mean, for for a young kid like him to come in here and and do that and in in the Sun Belt tournament is really impressive. So I, I give him a lot of credit. He was he was really good. Other questions in the room, right here. Turbo, Tur Tur obviously, obviously you're coming back. Hopefully, coming back next week, next year. Uh, what, what what's your plans to get better for next year? Uh, just just standing staying engaged and what I need to do to, you know, not be in the same position I was this year. Uh, just really doing whatever I can just to stay healthy and, and help my team out in any way I can. 